Every year ago, I thought I was going to go on holidays and I was going to do something a bit different. And I thought, what would I like to do most? I'd love to learn to fly a glider plane. So I booked the holiday and I arrived at the gliding club. And when I got there, I saw a couple of breeze block buildings. And I thought, this is a bit basic. Um, but the one was a canteen and the other was a dormitory where everybody uh, on these courses actually slept. Well, I wasn't going to share with the men. And there was another woman than me, so there was two of us. And they'd had to find us alternative accommodation. Well, they did that. It was a very old and very dilapidated caravan. But it was fine. Um, we, we had a laugh. First day, we had to have a theoretical lesson. Um, we thought that was all really interesting, but we were all desperate to get up into the air. We were taken to where the glider was waiting for us. The pilot who flew the plane was young and handsome. One of us would have our flight and the rest of us would stand and watch and be very jealous. When it was my turn, oh the excitement, I sat in the pilot's seat, pulled the canopy shut and tried hard to listen to the instructions given to me by Phil the instructor. But I couldn't wait to get up into the sky and he obviously knew that because he very quickly gave the tug pilot the signal that we were ready and he could take off. The tug plane started its run and with us joined to it by our umbilical cord, we gathered speed down the runway. The sound of the runway under the runners of the glider was loud, then suddenly the noise disappeared and we were in the air. I watched the tug plane in front of us moving slowly but steadily upwards, pulling us in a circle. When we got to 2,000 feet, I released the tow rope. The glider seemed to judge it to a halt and we were instantly in a still and silent world. It was stunningly beautiful. I'd never seen anything like it before and I was lost for words. The sky was a crystal clear blue with not a cloud to be seen. Although that's not the weather for gliding. We needed clouds so we could ride the rising thermals and stay up for hours. It was clear, it was beautiful, it was lovely, but not the weather for gliding. <laughs> so down we came. And several days later, as we woke up to a howling gale and blowing in off the sea, the instructor said that it, 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 the weather was far too wild for us to do any flying that day. Until that is, the tug pilot said he was going to see if he could get up above the storm and would I like to go with him? Oh, would I? Jamie, the pilot, and me, we clambered into the little plane with its tandem seats and trundled off down the runway. Then suddenly we just did a little jump and were airborne. We were tossed about by the wings with the rain slashing down onto the windscreen. Then suddenly we broke through the clouds into a calm, peaceful, and sunny world, looking down on the grey, yellow, silver, angry clouds tumbling below. We flew around for a bit and then, regrettably, it was time to give our tours. It was the most exhilarating ride I'd ever had and it beat all the super scary roller coasters in the fun fair. It was wonderful.